Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will walk you through simple steps that you can take today that will help you secure your personal and financial information online. Online security has become a major concern in recent years, as more and more personal and financial information is being stored and shared online. Here's how you can stay secure in the online world. Use strong passwords. A strong password should be at least 12 characters long and include a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. It's also important to avoid using common words, phrases, or personal information in your passwords, as these can be easily guessed or discovered by hackers. To create a strong password, consider using a passphrase made up of several random words, such as dog hash jump 7 carat. You can also use a password manager to generate and store strong passwords for you. It's also important to avoid using the same password for multiple accounts. If a hacker gains access to one of your accounts, they will be able to access all of your accounts if you use the same password. To avoid this, you should use a unique password for each of your accounts. Finally, make sure to change your passwords regularly, at least every 3 to 6 months. Keep your software up to date. This includes your operating system, web browser, and any other applications you use regularly. Outdated software can have security vulnerabilities that can be exploited by hackers, making it easier for them to steal your personal and financial information. To ensure your software is always up to date, you should enable automatic updates on all of your devices. Most software, including operating systems and web browsers, will have an option to automatically check for and install updates. If you don't have automatic updates enabled, it's important to check for updates regularly and install them as soon as they become available. Be careful with public Wi-Fi. Using public Wi-Fi can be convenient, but it can also put your personal and financial information at risk. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, which means that anyone can access them and potentially see the information you're sending and receiving. To protect your information when using public Wi-Fi, it's important to follow a few simple guidelines. 1. Avoid accessing sensitive information, such as your online banking or email, when using public Wi-Fi. 2. Be cautious of free Wi-Fi hotspots, as these can often be set up by hackers to steal your information. 3. Look for networks that are password protected and only use networks that you trust. 4. Turn off file sharing on your device when using public Wi-Fi, as this can leave your information vulnerable to being accessed by others. If you're not sure whether a public Wi-Fi network is secure, it's best to avoid using it or use your cellular data instead. Be cautious with emails and links. These types of scammers will send you emails or links that appear to be from a trusted source but are actually designed to steal information. To protect yourself from these scams, it's important to be cautious when opening emails or clicking on links from unknown sources. Here are some tips for staying safe with emails and links. 1. Be suspicious of emails or links that ask for personal or financial information. 1. Legitimate organizations will not ask for sensitive information via email or links. 2. Be cautious of emails or links that contain typos or grammatical errors, as these can be signs of phishing scams. 3. Be wary of emails or links that create a sense of urgency, as cybercriminals often use fear tactics to trick you into clicking on their links. 4. Always check the URL before clicking on a link, especially if the link seems suspicious or is from an unknown source. 5. If you receive an email or link that you suspect is a phishing scam, do not respond to it, do not click on any links or download any attachments, and do not provide any personal or financial information. Enable two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication, 2FA, is an extra layer of security that requires you to provide a second form of authentication in addition to your password. This could be a code sent to your phone or a security token. By enabling 2FA on your online accounts, you can help protect your personal and financial information from cyber criminals. Back up your data regularly. Backing up your data regularly is an important step in protecting your personal and financial information. By keeping multiple copies of your data, you can minimize the risk of losing important information if your device is lost, stolen, or damaged. Monitor your accounts regularly. Monitoring your accounts regularly is a crucial step in protecting your personal and financial information. Regularly checking your accounts can help you detect any unauthorized activity and take action to prevent further damage. Dispose of devices securely. When you dispose of old devices such as computers, smartphones, and tablets, you need to make sure that you do it securely to prevent the theft of personal and financial information. Here are some steps you should take when disposing of devices. Factory reset the device. This will erase all data on the device, including personal and financial information. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for resetting the device. Delete the hard drive. If you're disposing of a computer, it's important to physically destroy the hard drive to prevent the recovery of sensitive information. You can use a drill, hammer, or degausser to destroy the hard drive. Don't just throw it away. 
simply throwing away old devices can leave them vulnerable to theft. Instead, you should donate, recycle, or sell the device to a reputable organization that specializes in secure device disposal. If you have tips to add, please feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.